Hello, everybody. We are here in the new year, 2018. And here you are at Dream Big with Jana, inspiring you to reignite, refire, and refuel your life. And we're going to continue with a series of empowering interviews. And what a wonderful day and a wonderful moment to start this 2018 with um, an amazing woman, the goddess herself, Franz Berenger, on the third interview. It's actually not going to be an interview. It's the coaching session where I, Jana, am the guinea pig, <laughs> public guinea pig. <laughs> so, and I'm totally open to that. I'm stretching myself. And let me just introduce Franz again, for those of you who see her for the first time, she is the founder of Goddess Formula Institute. And what it is, it's, um, it's the different archetypes, the goddess archetypes that each woman, she works primarily with women, although the archetypes are available, God's archetypes available for men, but Frances specialty, she works with women and she helps them to uncover their primary archetypes in explains the benefits we, we're going to dive deep into that benefits of knowing them and also what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into the limitations of each archetype that i personally have and you guys can watch learn uh see what resonates with you and see how that is going to benefit your life especially if you're going to show up live at the event that france is doing in march this year but let's let me just let me just welcome france into the show france thank you so much thank you jana thank you For so much i'm happy to be here I'm so glad that we are here again. Yeah. And yes, and I am curious to find out the limitations. But first, may I ask you, what are the benefits of knowing all of that, knowing your archetypes? Right. Well, uh, let's just three short reasons. Number one, uh, if a woman is really interested in knowing herself at a very much deeper level and have meaning into her life, it's very crucial that she understands which archetype are, are pulling her in which direction. Another reason is um, to understand her life purpose and to be in alignment with what she's meant to be in the world. Mm -hmm. Another reason is to what type of relationship is that woman attracting in her life and to find out new ways, empowering ways to find her soulmate. And also if that relationship is not working so much for her to find empowering ways to move away from that and attract a new love in her life. And that goes also with friendship. It's not just about, you know, intimate relationship. It could be a very, you know, great friendship and sometimes difficulty arise and it's important to understand why uh -huh. and have a conversation about it. So when we know ourselves, it is the key to mm -hmm. that. No. Beautiful. So you're saying, especially, I'm, I'm so loving it that we are having it at the beginning of the year because a lot of women out there, um, they, especially because you mentioned the, the subject of soulmates specifically. Yeah, yeah a lot of men, women give up on the idea of finding the one. And so you are saying by knowing the goddess archetypes, you can actually turn that around. So you never give up on yourself. Absolutely. Absolutely. And find out which relationships are beneficial for you. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, you know, women are stuck, so to speak, in a relationship and they don't understand why. 
and mm -hmm. we try to move them away from it and they mm -hmm. can't. So by understanding, having that knowledge, it can really empower them. Beautiful. By what they need to do in order to attract the proper relationship for themselves. So, uh, Franz, the purpose of, of today's co coaching session, uh, right for, for us, and it's an open coaching session, and I thank you for that. And I, I don't know, I'm, you know, kind of uh, stopped being in fear. I'm excited about that. So I don't know. Let's see what comes up. Yeah. We, we are going to talk about the limitations, which is sometimes called the shadow work. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Why could you explain, like you gave us the benefits of knowing your Absolutely. archetypes. Um, yeah. Why do we need to know the limitations? It's a, it's a great question because... When you think of a goddess, you would think like, okay, why does she have a shadow? Well, because the simple answer is due to the patriarchal supremacy that worshiped the masculine for so long and excluded, denied, and suppressed the feminine. So serious damage has been done to our individual and collective psychic for the psyche, I'm sorry. So to say nothing about our physical health or that's the state of our planet. So at the present time, there is a revival of the feminine, but just like anyone who has been in prison or exiled or even killed, uh, this renewal of the goddess's principle may often appear weak, confused, misaligned and wounded due to the harsh treatment that the feminine has received at the hand of the repression, the patriarchal repression. So that's how the shadow uh, aspect of the archetype shows up. And for us, it is so important to know what is that shadow aspect of this archetype so that we can empower ourselves, have a new way of, oh, this is, this is why I do what I do, because I'm pulled to do this, but now I know better, so I can change my ways. And um, we could address that as well. It's like, how? But you know, that's another discussion. Guys, I know that you were very brave into trying, you wanted to find out about your specific archetype, shadow. Uh, so would you like to know that right now? I am open. I'm ready. Yes. So um, when we had our previous conversation, I think you were in agreement with your specific archetype, right? You felt like, oh my gosh, this is really the characteristics. If you may, may I may just uh, intervene a little bit. If you if you guys are watching and this is the first episode out of three, uh, go. You can stop here and go watch uh, the second session where Franz was uh, coaching me on my on my primary archetype. That's what she's referring to. Yeah. So go watch video two uh, with with Franz and me. Yes, and now that Jenna has agreed to uh, bravely <laughs> discover her shadow type, uh, those are only characteristics that she may or may not be inclined to do, depending of her upbringing you know, family or values or belief system. They, they are other factors involved into this. However, her specific archetype um, may have led her possibly at a younger age to attract destructive relationships in her life and potentially controlling partners. Mm -hmm without her awareness, because those are unconscious beliefs that we don't know sometimes why we attract those type of relationship, but that's part of this particular archetype. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you may have also as a, uh, an unconscious protective measure, 
uh, she may choose a safe alternative as opposed to a controlling partner, she may want a younger, non-threatening partner whom she can mother. And that doesn't mean that obviously you have done that, but did you find yourself in your life having a type of relationship that was not so beneficial for you that may have been controlling um, that kind you Kind of, yeah, yes, yes, absolutely. And not necessarily, not only in a romantic uh, relationship, it could be any type of relationship. It could be uh, the teachers that you come across, right? That's okay, good. yeah, absolutely. That's good. Yeah. Absolutely, That's yes. True. And that was a very huge uh, wound that you healed throughout the years. Yes. That was, oh my gosh, and you were a, a young child and that followed you. I had this teacher that I, that I was referring to. Yes. But I also, now that you're saying that, Carl, mm -hmm. I also remember another professor so it's also the teacher but she was at the university um it's interesting that, that i never connected it just right now it dawned on me but the lesson that i had to learn mm -hmm. was actually very similar because it was the controlling type and i kind of played small and i played the victim mode until i stepped up but at the it, at the university it was the beginning of that process because i just uh, I was afraid of being, I mean, I was tired. I was tired of being playing small and uh, getting all these punches from the universe, so to speak. Um, I got to st stand up. So I learned in a hard way. Yes, yes. It's interesting that you Often the case for many of us, right? Mm -hmm. And we keep getting the same lessons until we learn, right? Yeah. So Same. Found an empowering way to uh, remove yourself from these controlling situations. But I yes. think awareness, right? Here we go again with the number one key is the awareness. Uh -huh. This is not what I choose in my life. This is not beneficial or empowering for me. And then how to find a way to move true that it, it, it is painful mm -hmm. to be in a controlling relationship it's now that i'm thinking when you're saying all of that i'm thinking about you know my uh my personal like relationships uh, right romantic relationships and that's quite a bit of that you know it's just it was true it was true but that's why i would i would i would move away <laughs> <laughs> That's why you were. I would move away from, oh. from the or distance myself, you know, in the past, in the past. But it seems like it's changing. So what do I do? What do we do with that? Well, so because of this particular archetype, is uh, again. Um, I believe I mentioned that last time, but if I haven't, I will repeat it, is that it calls you to experience these painful relationships in order for you to realize being aware and then how to grow out of that painful situation and then choose otherwise. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes this, particular archetype which happened to be yours is what see this is the soul path of the archetype is to experience you have the potential for great uh, renewal uh -huh. but the process is to go through the pain and realize what that means and then find a way to empower yourself after that and I, I and I wanna I wanna please ask you to repeat this last uh, sentence because it's so profound. A lot of people they they don't 
I, I just, I've been doing a lot of personal and professional development all my life, specifically yeah. personal, deep inner work. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm, I'm myself coaching and teaching, but uh, there, there are always golden nuggets. And a lot of people, as we know, do we kind of, the tendency for the mainstream consciousness is to move yourself, remove yourself from pain. But you yeah. said something profound in order for us to, uh, turn and switch things around you gotta go absolutely inside the pain and yeah. realize what does it mean instead of trying to avoid it oh yeah. this is too painful i can't do this i cannot talk about it i can't mm -hmm. you know and then we resist it and when, when we resist it's still there persist we never put the light into it so mm -hmm. it remains in the dark it was that shadow mm -hmm. and that shadow aspect will continue to be present so so what when when you're inviting us to go uh in in experience that pain i'm sure there is a like what, what's the process you don't go to experience for the sake of experiencing that you you go to experience to or, what is the benefit of experience in that? The benefit is to free yourself from that pain. Because when I'm sure there is a process to that, and there absolutely. Are, and are we going to do it in March? Do we have time? Yes, absolutely, we will. Yeah, we will. So at the event that you're doing, uh, France is doing the event in March 10th and 11th, right? 10th and 11th this year in san diego sunny beautiful san diego and it's a it's a two-day two-day event so uh we are going to go through the process of of releasing and turning things around releasing the pain turning things around so it's going to be experiential so all of that is coming up right absolutely but could you give could, could you give maybe maybe uh if it's a longer process i understand we will not have time but something quick for our for like for for example in my case if, uh, something quick to experience so something quick to experience would be to allow to allow the sensation that you are experiencing for example when we are in pain and fear as opposed to love let's just call those two energy fear and love so when you are in fear it creates a contraction in the body uh -huh. so it could be the heart chakra if it's a love relationship or it could be, it could be at the solar plexus or it could be anywhere in the body the main thing is to allow that sensation to be there Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you simply you close your eyes and you feel where you feel that pain in the body without going into the story oh my god he did this to me and what's what's going on what happened i don't understand that's the story that will keep you in the shadow mm -hmm. but if you choose to really go deep into the pain the body has its own intelligence mm -hmm. and will tell you where mm -hmm. that pain resides because it is an energy and then you have to our mm -hmm. energies mm -hmm. so when you go deep into the body you will realize oh okay let's say for example you may have in the heart chakra mm -hmm. and you simply can go deep within and say to yourself i allow that pain to be here I recognize it. I see it. Uh -huh. I understand its meaning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then you go deeper and deeper to fully integrate that energy in your body uh -huh. in order to be able to release it. So you don't resist anything that may come up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, uh, and then you see what, where it leads you uh -huh. uh, to be in those moments uh -huh. and then once you release that from your body allowing it accepting it then you have the potential and possibility to transform it 
And yeah. that's a process also that I would love to guide you when you come at the event because it's uh, more experiential than uh, you have to experience it in order to fully integrate it. Uh -huh. uh, but it's um, the willingness to go through the pain, to realize where it is located in the body, allow it, accept it, understand it, and then transmute it because uh -huh. energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be transformed. So we will do a specific uh, technique that I often use on myself as well as my clients in order to release and heal that, those emotions. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. How long does it usually take? Like, is it a lot? Because usually people think every time you hear the word process, you're like, oh, that's pain that's been yeah. with me for 20 years or 40 years or how long? So how long does it take? Not very long. A few minutes. And, yeah. and it's gone completely? Or is it like, is it, is it really possible? Yeah, there could be, it depends how long this has been occurring. If it's throughout your entire life, you certainly may have layers uh -huh, for that uh -huh, pain uh -huh. uh, that we could look into at a deeper level. But if it's something that just occurred, and it's not firmly integrated in your body, it's easier to release it. Mm -hmm. No matter what, uh, layers can be dissolved. Mm -hmm. And once you know that technique, you can use it all the time, each time it comes up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's quite phenomenal, quite phenomenal. Beautiful. And then you're able to make a choice like, okay, which which emotion do I want to choose as opposed to the pain I'm experiencing? Once you feel, you will feel it in your body. You will feel the release. I love it how you said, I you love will. it how you said that you can choose your emotion. And yeah. it's always a choice. That's what I'm explaining to my kids and my clients, the same thing, is that you will always have a choice. Yeah. Right? To be upset, to be mad, or to yeah. choose love instead, or choose love and being, being kind over being right, yeah. and, and, and things like that. And it's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. But what I think as a result of that work that you're doing, what, what is going to happen is that once you know that we are in control of our own emotions, then you are basically in control of your life. Exactly. Because then you become bulletproof. Yes. Like nothing, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> not, you are immortal, right? You're the <laughs> goddess. You're, you're goddess. You're not yes. a mortal being anymore. Right. You're immortal. Yeah. And I then all that. might can, you know, have space to come in. So you yeah. Thank you. Beautiful, gorgeous being that you already are, but it is covered a lot of time with the that shadow aspect that we deny because so, nobody likes the pain, of course. Mm -hmm. But there are ways to minimize it and to empower ourselves mm -hmm. to choose better. <laughs> um. Thank you. So now what I learned about myself with the limitations that you, well, it's not very many, thank God. <laughs> you just, yes. Well, the, it's one you know, of the... For you, uh, your specific archetype yeah. was inviting you to go deeper into the dark, dark night of the soul, we may call mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And I believe you have done that. I, I've done, so my, my next question, let's say uh, everybody who is uh, let's, uh, coming into an event or experiencing your work offline and online um, in any form and type, because you do much more event is going to be in March, but also right. if somebody wants to do something about that and reach out to you before, yes. what do, we're going to give, we're going to give the contact information. So it's coming up guys, just stay tuned. My question is, um, to you now that I know specifically about myself and yeah. I know um, I know this is like the controlling types of relationships that's what's yeah. something I needed to learn and I've done the work does it mean also that I have to change something else about myself in order to 
uh, empower myself or is it just to be a choice recognize it and be a choice of the emotions and um well what would you know what type of since we're speaking about relationships mm -hmm. what type of relationship you are now inviting into, into your life but def definitely are you asking me a question are you uh, yes yes yeah. you well, what type of relationship? Well, definitely a leader, uh, just like me, because I'm very independent, but not a controlling type, meaning controlling to me, it's overpowering. Yes. Right. I can't be, I can't be overpowered because this is my, my whole life's mission, as I see it right now. I actually have a program in the talk that I, that I give out, give to teachers and the parents and mom specifically uh over um empowering versus overpowering your children yeah. so there you go so in the relationship answering your question i know <laughs> i know that my type is is a leader so it's a self-sustainable self kind of contained um being um, who doesn't need anybody to complete themselves, them, themselves, or in my case, because it's it, we're equals, and yet, so what attracts us to each other is the beauty of the relationship, the beauty of the conversations, the beauty of all these other aspects that are out there that constitute love yeah. and everything else. The, the everything else is should be there. But no, in by no means, no overpowering. Yeah, so caring that is good. You that you have really worked on yourself a lot. You, you have done the work because yeah. otherwise you would not know what to choose from. You know, even though we say, oh, "Well, it's overpowering," but so there is always that excuse. But you very you know very well that this yeah. is not a choice anymore you know better so yeah you learned the lesson i learned my lesson yeah. Yeah. yeah and we are still learning it that uh, yeah it's a it's a it's the work in progress uh but it's beautiful i i remember the sean stevenson that i love so much i don't know if you know this uh public speaker he says he has an ex you do he has an expression that um your success depends on the size of your butt b-u-t <laughs> i read his book uh, some years ago when it came out yeah that's my that's my musical clock so yeah, that's my, that's my musical clock, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a, no, no. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What did you want to say? In the, no problem. Oh, you read? Yeah, I read his book. So uh, some years ago, when he wrote it. So I see. It was "Get Off Your Butt" or something like that. The title, yeah. So. Yes, yes, yes. He's amazing. But yeah. anyway, guys, thank you so well. First of all, Franz, thank you so much for uncovering my shadow and uncovering my limitations. And I hope, I hope it rang the bell to a lot of you. And maybe you recognize maybe somebody is a similar archetype and the similar limitations, just like I am. But if we want to learn more, how can we contact you? In, yes, in, so I have a website, which is uh, at franceberinger.com, F-R-A-N-C-E, Beringer, B-A-R-R-I-N-G-E-R.com. And it will have all the information about the event also yeah, in March. Mr. And how to contact me if anyone has questions concerning the event itself, I'll be happy to answer any question and also we're gonna post the link in the comments below the direct link to the event but however if you have questions not related to the event or anything else you want to find out you can uh directly contact uh, franz derringer on facebook you can message her and also go to our website www.hb academy today which stands for hummingbird 
coming for so hbacademytoday.com go to the radio section and leave the comments there you can also find that video very shortly on youtube on john space channel and subscribe and a comment over there um we'll be happy france will be happy to reach out and if it's a question for me i'll be happy to answer that too you are watching dream big with jana inspiring you to reignite refire and refuel your life and today we had franz berenger who is an amazing goddess the living the living proof that it exists now we are in the divine presence and what a beautiful way to start 2018 franz thank you so much thank, thank you, you. <laughs> Thank you. Mwah. Happy New Year. Happy New, Happy New Year. Year.